Prost. 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 Only one letter? Mommy, mommy, let me see the stamps. Mommy, 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 let me see the stamps. Wait a minute, Rahul. Let me see who has sent the letter. Please, mom, let me take the stamp. We can read the letter afterwards. Oh, it's from Ravi uncle. Here, take your stamp. Wow, it's so beautiful. You and your stamps, Rahul. You are becoming a pest. Mr. Sundaram was also complaining about you the other day. Oh, mom, he's always complaining about everything. Rahul, you shouldn't talk like that. Now get back to your room and let me read the letter in peace. Okay, mom. Thanks for the lovely stamp. Hippie! One dozen stamps. Hey, Rahul. What is it, Sandeep, bhaiya? Do you want a foreign stamp? Of course. Oh boy, it's great. Thank you, Sandeep Bhaiya. Any letters? No. Postman, shall I give them to Sundaram uncle? No. Post. Uncle. What's the matter? Uncle. Yes? Uncle, please uncle, stamps. Why? For my stamp collection, uncle. What's the hurry? Come later. Oh boy. Rahul. What are you so excited about? Dad, see this. It's a foreign stamp. It's for my collection. It's beautiful. You know what this is? I know. It's a dragonfly. Rahul, from where did you get it? Sandeep Bhaiya gave it to me. Be a good boy. Now run along. Dad, I think Rahul has taken after you. He has already collected so many stamps. He pesters not only all our neighbors, my friends and his father's friends too. That's a good thing. Stamp collecting of philately is the best of all hobbies. Stamps are like encyclopedias. They tell you everything about history, geography, culture, art, science, technology, personalities, great events and what not. Now, now, Dad, don't start off. I had heard all this in my childhood. Here comes the little devil. You take him over, Dad. Please train him. Hi, Grandpa. What's this I hear about you, Rahul? You are collecting stamps? Oh, yes, Grandpa. I have collected 56 stamps. Six of them are foreign stamps. Shall I show them? Not now, Rahul. Grandpa is going home now. He's tired. Oh, boy. Rahul, I'm glad you're collecting stamps. Come along one of these days. I will start you off as a proper philatelist. Thanks a lot, Grandpa. My grandfather is going to make me a proper philatelist. Who is he? You silly. It only means a stamp collector. Yes, Medha. My grandpa is a famous stamp collector. He has won many awards in India and in foreign countries also. Rahul, I want to become a stamp collector like you. Me too. I am going to my grandpa's house this Sunday. He is showing me how to start a stamp collection. Can I come with you, Rahul? Me too, me too. Oh no, Medha. You can't understand anything. Yes, Medha. Both of you can come. Come in, Rahul. Come in. Introduce me to your friend. Grandpa, he is Vijay and his sister, Veda. Namaste, sir. God bless you, children. You should also call me Grandpa. Yes, sir. No, no. You should also call me Grandpa. Grandpa. Okay, come. 
Sit down here. First, I will tell you about the parts of a stamp. But Grandpa, stamp is only one piece of paper. How will it have parts? Have <laughs> patience, Medha. See, here is the stamp. The picture is called vignette. The caption tells us about the theme or the occasion like the India 89 World Philatelic Exhibition in New Delhi. A commemorative stamp is issued only once. This is the year when this stamp was issued. The perforated edges make it easy for the stamp to be separated. I know, I know. The stamps will not there. Shh, be quiet and just listen. No, no, Vijay. Our Medha is very intelligent. Unless you ask questions or talk, how do I know you are understanding what I am saying? Grandpa, please continue. Okay, here we go. Stamps come in all shapes. The first stamp of the world, the Penny Black of England, was rectangular. Now, there are triangular, square, circular, octagonal, diamond-shaped stamps. There are also odd-shaped stamps. Grandpa, are they big, big stamps also? Good question, Medha. The world's biggest stamp, China's 10-cent green express delivery stamp of 1913, measured 25 centimeters by 70 centimeters. The smallest stamp, Bolivia's 10 cent of 1863 measures just one centimeter by one centimeter. These papers indicate the sizes. What are the types of stamps, Grandpa? Oh, yes, I am coming to that. Definitive stamps are those that are used for normal postal purposes. They are printed again and again till a new series is issued. Oh boy, I think they are printed in millions of numbers. Yes, but commemorative stamps are printed in limited numbers only. They are in circulation for limited periods only, usually six months. They are issued in honor of some personality or to celebrate an occasion or to record an anniversary of an event. Oh, Grandpa, like the yoga stamp? Yes, Medha. You are an intelligent girl. Then there are thematic stamps. They show a country's culture, art, flora, fauna, and other aspects. These are collector's items. India has stamps on its heritage, its literature, cinema, dance, music, etc. Grandpa, will you help me to start a proper stamp collection? Of course, Rahul. Come on next Sunday and bring your friends. You should bring all your stamps also. Yes, Grandpa, we will all come. Thank you, Grandpa. See my new album, Vijay. I help Mommy clean up all the old boxes. I also polish the cutlery. She bought me this new album. I have my pocket money saved. I'll buy the album with that. But Mommy, I don't have any money, but I'll ask Daddy to buy one small album for me. Okay, then we are all going to Grandpa's place this Sunday. Good. All your albums are small and cover the entire world. In the beginning, you don't have to have a big luxury album. Oh, I thought all albums are like mine, small and printed. No, Medha, there are many types of albums. Later, you can buy loosely printed albums. More pages can be added like this as your stamp collection increases. Then come the albums with printed, ruled pages like this. Where do we keep our stock of stamps, Grandpa? Now you can keep them in any box. Later, 
you have to buy a stock book. The stamps are slipped into the pouches of the stock book to be later mounted in a regular album. How do you mount stamps, Grandpa? Before one starts mounting stamps, one should have a magnifying glass to check and look at the stamps and an atlas to identify the countries. Then, Grandpa? Then, one should have hinges and tweezers. The top one-third of the hinge is bent back. The gum is lightly moistened. Attach this portion to the back of the stamp at the top. The fold of the hinge should be three millimeters below the perforation. Now, moisten the lower one-third of the hinge, turn over the stamp and attach the hinge to the album like this. Keep a paper on the stamp and press lightly. Once the hinge is dry, the stamp can be peeled off when required. Neither the album nor the stamp is damaged. Grandpa, many stamps are stuck fast to the covers. How can I remove them without tearing them? You have to first cut neatly the portion of envelope which has the stamp with one centimeter space all around. Pour some warm water in a flat bowl. Never use hot water. Float the envelope pieces with stamps above for 15 minutes. The water will soak the gum. The stamp will get detached. If it doesn't come out, Grandpa. You can easily peel it off gently from the wet envelope. If you find any gum on the stamp, float it for two minutes more. Carefully lift the stamp and put it face down on a clean sheet of blotting paper. Put another sheet above and press it. When the stamps are dried, put another sheet on them and keep a heavy book on top. Never dry the stamp in the sun. When the stamps are totally dry, keep them in the stock book. One more caution. Remember, do not float stamps with colored envelopes along with others. Float them separately, one at a time. Why, Grandpa? You silly. The color may run off the envelope. Am I correct, Grandpa? Yes, Vijay. You should be very, very careful to see that water should not get onto the stamp. Are there other ways to keep stamps in the album? Yes. We can keep the stamps in mounts and attach them to album pages. These are plastic pouches with gum bags and stamps are put inside. The pouch is attached to the album page by moistening the two top corners. Grandpa, are there any guides for stamp collectors? A stamp collector is usually guided by catalogs. They list all the stamps of the world and also give their market prices. One famous catalog is the 3,000 page Stanley Gibbons simplified catalog called Stamps of the World. Another is Scott's standard postage stamp catalog of the USA. The most popular catalog of Indian stamps is the color catalog of Phila India of 1994 from Calcutta. Another one is the India postage stamps of the Department of Posts. Now, here are some hinges. You can start mounting your stamps under different countries' names. Vijay, did you show your album to our dad and mom? Of course, they like it very much. Dad promised to give more pocket money to buy more stamps. Rahul Rahul, money like my album more than Vijay Bhaiya's. Daddy too. I have written to my pen friend in Bombay about my stamp collection. He has sent me many stamps on sports. Then you can have a special collection. He will ask Grandpa about it. I will also ask Grandpa if the stamps on small children, I'll collect them. Who are your small stamps? They are not small stamps. Oh boy, don't fight. Let us first go to Grandpa's house this Sunday. Okay. Grandpa, are these stamps on children? Oh yes, there are. There are stamps on every 
thing that you can think of. That's why after having general collections, stamp collectors develop special collections about a country or a group of countries like the Commonwealth, the United Nations, etc. Then you can also have special collections such as the stamps of India during Queen Victoria's rule or stamps about the relations between two countries or similar ideas. Lastly, there are thematic collections on a single theme like birds, flowers, cars, etc. Grandpa, Grandpa, my children's stamps. Okay, we will start with Medha's collection. We will bring together all the Indian stamps issued on Children's Day. Do you know when that is? Yes, Grandpa. It is on number 14. It is Chatanaru's birthday. We get sweets on Children's Day. Okay, I will give you some stamps, Medha. Then you can add more stamps to your collection. This is a 1985 Children's Day stamp of India showing a schoolgirl working at a computer. This shows an upgradation of educational technology. The rhyme, Ringa Ringa Roses, forms the theme of this 1995 Children's Day stamp. This painting is by a child. This painting, also by a child, depicts a herdsman with his cattle. This is a 1984 Children's Day stamp. Another Children's Day stamp aptly shows the older sister taking care of a little sister. A child's idea of a home adorns this Children's Day stamp of 1987. Children dancing around the national flag is the motive for this 1991 Children's Day stamp. Grandpa, I want to have a special collection of stamps on sports. Rahul, your idea is for a thematic collection. I will start you off on it with some stamps. Now, Rahul, you identify these stamps on sports. These are stamps on Olympics issued in USA. This is an 11th Asian game stamp showing the game of Kabaddi. This stamp shows the sprint queen Pitusha. This stamp shows the game of basketball. This is a 23rd Olympic stamp showing the high jump. This cricket stamp is of the famous Ranji. The adventurous sport of mountain climbing is seen in this stamp. Grandpa, I will add more stamps to my general collection. I want to have 1,000 of stamps. Good, Rahul. What are the thematic collections you are planning? I have not thought of any idea from this, yeah? You can collect stamps on great personalities. That's a good idea. I will ask Grandpa about it. Sunny Bhai, Sunny Bhai, please see my album. It is good, Medha. Oh, yes, Rahul. That's a very good idea. But there are many, many stamps issued on important personalities by all countries. Then, what do I do, Grandpa? You could select only those great persons who made a great contribution to humanity as a whole. Then, you could have a manageable number of stamps. Have you got any such stamps, Grandpa? Of course I'll give you a few. You can keep on adding to it. You can write to all your pen friends. Now, the freedom fighter and mystic Sri Aurobindo believed that the human race will mature into a race of super beings. Mother Teresa, an Albanian who became a Bharat Ratna, spread the message of love for all weak and helpless people. Swami Vivekananda emphasized the Vedic message that true religion is in acting according to one's dharma. Abraham Lincoln believed 
that all men are equal Srinivasa Ramanujam symbolizes the mathematical genius of India which has given the concept of numbers and zero to the world Jagdish Chandra Bose the great scientist proved that even trees are living beings and that one should be kind to them Homi Bhabha who believed in self sufficiency had the foresight to see that nuclear energy will become man's major source of power Albert Einstein gave a quantum jump to human understanding of nature through his theory of relativity Nicolas Copernicus is the father of modern astronomy Walt Disney is the creator of Mickey Mouse the darling of children all over the world Henry Ford was the creator of the conveyor belt in industry which made cars affordable Thomas Alva Edison is the benefactor of us all through hundreds of inventions including the electric bus Mahatma Gandhi the father of our nation taught us the ancient truth that one should not hurt any living being even our enemy he won india's independence through satyagraha and ahimsa see this dad i have got so many great person stamps oh wonderful it's not merely enough to collect stamps on great persons you should follow their ideals too i'll bring you some books on them read them and learn from their lives and achievements the books will be your birthday gift hop oh boy i promise you i will do as you said dad do you keep your promises rahul good evening sir good evening mr sundaram please take your seat i just dropped in to give rahul these stamps i got them from uk from my grandson thank you very much uncle can you suggest any theme for my stamp collection why not you can collect stamps of countries that are no more and of countries that are new you will learn both history and geography that's a very good theme rahul that's a very interesting theme my boy is it your idea no grandpa sundaram uncle gave me the idea that's nice of him now let's see which countries are no more and which have newly come let's start with state of hyderabad this stamp shows the present andhra pradesh legislative assembly building it was built for the nizam's legislature next comes the world famous ajanta caves on an etna hyderabad stamp this nizam's silver jubilee commemoration stamp shows the usmania university this stamp shows the glorious kakatiya torana of warangal the stamp showing the conch shell was the last stamp issued in 1950 by the combined state of travancore kochi this stamp of bavaria now a part of germany shows the coat of arms of that state the largest buddhist temple in the world borobudur is shown on this netherlands in the stamp of 1930 this country is now indonesia this stamp showing an antelope was issued by the belgian colony of congo let us look at stamps of new countries our neighbor bangladesh as you know came into being in 1971 This stamp shows the map of the new country. This 1992 stamp shows those of peace. This stamp shows a jackfruit tree. A brand new homeland for Jews is the state of Israel. On this 1949 Israeli stamp glows the lamp in a synagogue. You bring your friends also next time. I want to show you the classic stamps of various countries that I have. Then 
we can go to the philatelic bureau to see some more. Grandpa has asked you to come this Saturday. We are all going to the philatelic bureau. Me too, me too. Yes, Medha. Grandpa has asked you also to come. I know Grandpa likes me so much. Good afternoon, Mr. Michael. After a long time, you have come in. How do you do, sir? I am fine. Thank you, Mr. Ravi Kumar. Meet my grandson, Rahul, and his friends, Vijay and Medha. They're all budding philatelists. That is nice. Now, what type of collections do you have? I have 340 stamps. I want to collect 1,000 stamps. That's very good. I have got four thematic collections, sir. Four? At such an engage? It is all with the help of my grandpa, sir. Then you can participate in the coming Hyderabad district philately meet. Yeah, my grandpa. Why not, Rahul? Go ahead. Here is the entry form. For me too. In future, even in your albums, you should give more and more information. Then, grandpa, I will know more about everything. But I do not know much, grandpa. You can always ask your mummy and daddy. I want to know when post office started, when stamps started, how they are made. You're a curious one, Medha. Do you know people sent letters through horse riders or horse carriages or even persons running from post to post? The horse riders used to move from post to post, usually one to three kilometers apart. That's why the department that carries letters is called the Department of Post. This method was not only very expensive, but was affordable only by the rich and the powerful. In 1840, Sir Rowland Hill introduced the first adhesive postage stamp, the Penny Black of England. Since then, almost every country issues stamps. The Universal Postal Union, situated in Switzerland, coordinates the international exchange of mail. Now, I will tell you about the making of a stamp. The Philatelic Advisory Board of India takes the decision about stamps to be issued. Then, an artist is commissioned to design the stamp. Once the design is approved, it goes through various stages of development. Then the stamp is printed by the photogravure process. The basic color proofs are first checked and then comes the final printing. The colors used for a particular stamp are shown on the white margin and this is known as traffic lights. Grandpa, when was the first stamp issued in India? The first official stamp with the face of Queen Victoria was issued in 1854. However, the Commissioner of Sin, two years earlier in 1852, experimented with his own idea of stamps. These are called the Sinde Da stamps. But Grandpa, what about states like Hyderabad? There were almost 600 princely states before independence. Some of them issued their own stamps like these Hyderabad stamps, the Anshul stamps of Travancore, these Jaipur stamps, etc. Who first collected stamp? A small girl like me? The first stamp collector recorded was a lady from the Isle of Wight, United Kingdom, who started collecting stamps in 1841 to paper the walls of her room. Over the last 150 years, the hobby of philately has spread to every nook and corner of the world. Even King George V and American President Roosevelt collected stamps. That's why philately is called the hobby of kings and the king of hobbies. Rare stamps are very, very costly. The costliest stamps in the world 
a British Guiana 1856 one cent stamp was auctioned for three crores of rupees. Oh boy! Three crores? And now about the exhibition. The standard album pages of 22 centimeters by 28 centimeters should be displayed in frames of 98 centimeters by 129 centimeter size. You can exhibit one to three frames. Do we write about the stamps, Grandpa? Yes. These write-ups must be more detailed and properly arranged than in your albums. the juniors group, the first prize goes to Master Rahul. There is a special prize for the youngest exhibitor, eight-year-old Medha. Her thematic collection was on Children's Day stamps.